Welcome back. Today we are going to talk about the CVJ Assassin in Silver. So I think this one is the gaming tuning version of Assassin, and maybe the Black Assassin is slightly tuned for gaming as well, but I would say this one is a heavily more lean towards gaming, and the tuning is slightly different than the Black one, but it does have, I think, the same driver and the same vibration unit and the same switches over here, but... With the silver, you get this 2-meter cable, which is actually pretty cool. It's a 2-meter microphone cable, and they give you a boom mic attachment. Also, the termination is a 3.5. It's actually a modular, so you get a 3.5 millimeter, or you get the USB-C for uh, plugging into your phone or PC uh, to record audio. So we'll try to do that and see if we can get that working right now. And we're back with the CVJ mic uh, around my ear. So... As I was talking about, this one is definitely leaned more along the lines of while there is a music mode, this one is definitely tuned uh, for specific frequency peaks and um, boosts and kind of reductions, more for gaming that are definitely better for gaming or maybe movies. So let's take a quick look at what those look like. And so this is primarily where you see zero zero or zero one uh, is the vibration unit and it. Again, it looks kind of like Kanoko. It gives you a little bit of vibration. If you have some drums or something in your track, you can actually uh, discern where the vibration unit is and where it isn't. But again, I don't, I don't think that one is the, the primary driver on this particular set. Uh, so the gaming and the, I think the gaming and the monitor, the last two, I think, are the, the gaming and the monitor, and those two don't use the vibration unit at all. But they do have this kind of lower bass shelf, which is about what you would expect for a gaming style set. Don't want to cloud up the clarity of anything or the directionality or the imaging. So you do a lower bass shelf, and I think they kind of got that right. This peak is, I would call it your kind of center image focus. Sound effects that lie right there are going to be heavily in your kind of center image. And it's kind of interesting the way they did this. And for music, again, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense for music. But for sound effects and when you're actually watching gaming or even movies, this center image is actually really there, right there in the focus. And then it tends to de-emphasize everything around it. So strong center image and then anything in the background tends to fall back a little bit. The difference between these two treble levels, I would say, is your wideness. And, and this will be a brain burn kind of thing, whether you get used to having a center image with lower treble or a center image with higher treble. I thought the wideness in the, in the upper treble versions was actually a little bit better. I tended, for gaming, I thought you catch a little bit more better imaging uh, on the wideness with more treble. And I don't think that's all that different from music, the way that works. And if you lower the treble a little bit, this tends to fall a little bit more in the background, less specific, accurate imaging off to the sides. But I think brain burn-wise, after you're used to using it for a little bit, you'll figure out which one of these two you prefer. But yeah, just kind of generally looking at it, I actually preferred the wider one just because I knew what it was doing and having a little bit of extra upper treble was I knew was going to work with my brain a little bit better than uh, the lower treble but again try both of them you'll figure out which one uh, works for you so music mode once your brain adjusts to the vocal frequency push that that big 2 2k peak is doesn't necessarily work for music all that well uh, but if you listen to the lower bit in the bass for um, but the vibration, the vibration unit works in music mode. Led Zeppelin's good times, bad times, you could hear the vibration unit along with the drums. If you don't hear it with the drums, you definitely need a better fit. So this shallow fit um, wasn't my favorite, and I don't think it was all my favorite on Kanoko either, but I, I used foam tips just to get this in my ear properly so I could hear the vibration unit. Um, but yeah, I thought it was it was a bit shallow for me. So foams or something, a bigger tip will actually get it into your ear where you can hear the vibration unit if you aren't hearing it at all. And that er that early treble rise and lower presence um, definitely sounds like it graphs, right? So if you're just looking at it from a music perspective, this is going to catch some bit of your vocals, make them a bit thinner. The presence bit is actually dipped off quite a bit, so it's not going to sound all that clear. The the rest of the vocals and instruments aren't going to sound all that clear. You're going to get a, a sharp pike, a sharp peak 
and some of it, the rest of it trails off. So again, this is kind of a center focus, some part of the vocals, uh, actually, and even dialogue and movie is kind of hit right here in the center, and then the background stuff will actually trail off into the background. So I kind of understand their, their kind of method to the madness on the graph, and that's kind of how it, how it works in your ear. So movie mode, yep, the vocals are forward, at least some portion of the vocals are forward. Background music kind of falls into the back, as I was saying. It's just not as rich, right? You get this sharp peak, and that, that tends to give you a thinner sound. It's not really as rich on the soundtracks. But mostly, you, you just notice the details, and it's sort of like gaming, right? There's this sharp center image, and even on movies, when people, you hear like someone like rattle their keys, or they close a, a door on a car or something, right? These sound effects tend to hit that peak, uh, quite hard and it's quite sharp and it's very noticeable and then the things that are in the background tend to be a little softer and actually in the background so i i don't know again it's kind of a brain burn thing you, you kind of get used to it but there's definitely a little bit less left right imaging just for that reason because there's such a big center image and there's kind of forces you right into your face monitor mode it's basically music mode with no vibration but uh, makes it a bit better for movie mode with a wider stage. So again, monitor mode is one that went uh, up here. And again, for me, I just knew that that was going to sound a little bit wider for me, and perhaps it's a placebo, but I think putting a little bit more upper treble does give you a wider sound stage, and it, what, whatever they intended with monitor mode, I think it works uh, better if you're looking for a wider stage. And then eSports mode, which again, I, I think this one is primarily leaning towards this mode. And I thought it was an interesting choice not to use, there's no vibration. So they put a vibration mode. They really lean this one into this gaming with a boom mic and a two meter um, cable, but then it doesn't actually use the vibration unit at all. And it, it's probably not as wide, um, but I think, again, eSports one is one where the it's down here, so it's it's the one in the yellow. So it's the lower treble version, so no vibration unit and lower treble. And I thought, again, that gives you a, a very strong center image, but not as wide. But I thought, I thought that the, it's actually a quite decent 3D spatial awareness. There's more back of the head than I thought there was going to be. And you still get that, that really strong front center image, and it's really going to dominate. Uh, you get a really sharper center image, but then a little less wide seamless projection and I thought that was sort of why I preferred monitor mode over esports mode just because of the having a wider seamless projection as opposed to um, having a center image and then a shorter projection on the sides that's kind of again it's going to be a brain burn thing but that's sort of what I noticed and that I think it does correspond to the graph that lower base shelf does keep it clean and you get better imaging that pre 2k peak boost sound effects like i was talking about and loses some of the panning so again i i thought the upper treble gives you a little bit of the panning back so do try each one of those one zero which was the higher treble version was wider to me but try both like i was talking about generally i think it's a reasonable tuning for games which you know sharpens some bits it downplays others and they kind of go off into the background it keeps the fatigue a bit lower makes background sounds sound of more in the background it's not going to, again, it's kind of a gaming thing. It's not going to give you better skills, but it won't get in the way. And I think that's the, the gist of a tuning like this was to keep the bass low, so not to cloud the imaging, not to, to soften or lose accuracy on the left and the right, or even forward and back. Sharpen, so make some sounds very sharp, very focused in your center, and then again, bring down the fatigue and some of the things that are in the background, make them more in the background. So yeah, I think this is kind of logically makes a lot of sense, whether your brain can wrap a head around it and, and kind of get into the mode of what they're trying to do. I, you know, I think that's kind of a, up to you, but yeah, I, generally it's, it's not all that bad. So that is what I got on Assassin. So thank you again for tuning in and I will see you next time.